a quick message to Arsenal. Mikel Arteta, the set-piece coach and all the coaching staff, please, I'm begging you lot, stop scoring from corners. Stop looking to exploit teams from corners. Stop looking to keep doing something that we're good at, which is scoring from corners. Why? Because the media outlets and sour grapes from rival fans have an issue with it. That's up their business. You know, and, and, and uh, you know, sour grapes, we're back to being labelled Stoke City FC. Me, I always say, don't seek external validation because when we play great football, and we don't win games, there's issues. When we play ugly and win, there's issues. Who cares? The winners win, the losers explain, and we've got three points. Now, before I continue, I have to, you've got to be gracious in defeat. I'm not one of them sour football fans. You know, whether you win or lose, you have to be gracious. Manchester United, I think Ruben Amarinis early doors, he's going to have to flush out bad players. You're missing a couple like us, but I think that's the right man for you. But as I try to tell people, don't think because your manager's wearing designer clothes, he can rock up here and whatever, really and truly. So, yeah, credit to United. I think your manager's doing well. I think it was a stalemate. I don't think they necessarily set up to win. I don't think we was at our sparkling best in the final third that you saw against Sporting Lisbon or West Ham or Nottingham Forest, but that's not always going to happen. We got a clean sheet, which has been a rarity this season, and I think David Raya deserves that. You know, we obviously, people talk about corners and things. If you know the game's going to be decided on fine margins and ask, you might half be in it against Arsenal and corners are the difference, make sure you defend well from it then, really, and truly and then there's nothing to worry about then we're having other conversations about Arsenal need to find another way that's before we talk about 13 corners to Man United's none how the hell did we get 13 corners if you break it down how the hell do you earn corners in a game you have to go from one end of the pitch to the other so how have we been able to do that over 30 penalty box entries. Their XG was 0 0.03. Obviously, ours was significantly higher. We're missing key players like them. But, you know, let's be honest. Zinchenko and Kivio, that scares people. They stood up too. So if we didn't have to be amazing to do that and we got away with it via set pieces and maintained at this moment in time a great top six record, I don't know what to tell you. I'm happy for the three points. I'm happy to shut my United supporting friends up. I'm happy to... I can't say we're keeping up the pace with Liverpool, but Manchester City won. Liverpool drew against Newcastle, the very minimum you can do is go on a run, which we need to do. The games are coming thick and fast. You know, in the last couple of games, it feels like there's already, always somebody or two players missing. And we did the job really and truly. We did what we needed to do, if I'm honest with you. Jury and Timba, superb player. You know, to have Timba, Calafuri, Tommy Asu, Benjamin White, we ain't seen a couple of them. Even Kivio and Zinchenko, we've got some good defensive depth. I still think we could do with another defender, don't shoot me. Declan Rice, superb in that game. You know, obviously Obviously, Odegaard was doing his thing, Saka was doing his thing. It weren't really a game to wax lyrical about them, but we've done the job. We've done what we needed to do. We've got the three points. We're chasing a deficit. We're trying to turn our season around to have any hope of winning a trophy. The games are coming thick and fast, as I've said, and we just need to keep on winning. So to get two goals, to get a three points, to get a clean sheet, to not really have any real questions of Zinchenko and Kivio. The only time you were kind of nervous about Zinchenko is when he was on a yellow and they brought the very talented Diallo on. But nothing happened in that regard. So we move on to Fulham. Fulham away, you know, last season, that's one of the worst performances I think we put in as an Arsenal, uh, as, a, as a football club. And that obviously had ramifications for us indirectly. Or one of the games was the reason why we finished two points behind Manchester City. All we can do is win games. We've got Champions League, League Cup, you know, Premier League, you know, again, from now to the end of February, for, to the whole season, really. But if you look at now to the end of January, sorry, we're playing almost every four days. We've got some very difficult games. All we can do is take it game to game, week to week, take the good and make it great. The evident areas of improvement do better because I think we could have created, you know, prior to obviously Timber putting the ball in the back of the net and William Saliba doing his thing. Shout Saliba because I needed you to be a leader yesterday and big up Jury and Timber. The man is superb. I think, you know, Martinelli had an effort. Partey had a header that he should have bagged. There, it was really a lacklustre amount of chances. Like at half time, they had two shots, none on target. We had three shots, none on target as well. We had four corners. By the end of the game, people, that obviously changed significantly. We had 14 shots. To, um, six on target. They had five shots, two on target. So they didn't defend well. They didn't attack well. As I said, we had 13 corners to their none. And again, with Man United, it's early doors, but I do think Amarin's clearly got a good idea. I think he's trying to tackle the most difficult task first, which obviously is 
personnel is one thing, but making sure everyone knows what they're doing in the middle of the park, making sure people know what they're doing defensively when they're playing out from the back with Onana. I do think they need some better attackers. It sounds mad because they've got very talented Diallo. They've, I think Hoysland's a decent striker. They've got Rashford, but I, I do think they were a bit blunt in that regards. And, you know, one of the hardest things to do in football is to score goals, ironically, and offer something in the final third. But, you know, if you're building a team, I very much, I don't know how managers look at it. I don't know if, you know, if Man United on the flip side, they had a great attack, scoring bare goals, but the midfield's disillusioned, the defence is rubbish. I think of building from the, you know, it's like a house. You build from the foundations up. I think you work on defending, you work on midfield, then you focus on, on attack, but nothing changes overnight. I do think Amarin's a good manager. I do think Man United had some little good positives to take, but for Arsenal, we've got the positives. That's the three points in the bag. That's a clean sheet. That's a, you know, the couple of goals. And let's be honest, the more people hate on corners, the more you do like us scoring from dead ball scenarios, really. Now, again, my massive improvement would have been I wanted to see us create more. I, obviously, my fan cap, game like Man United, you're in fan mode. I wanted blood, if I'm honest with you. And I think you look at how we was in the final third against Nottingham Forest, against Sporting, and obviously West Ham. I wanted that kind of translated in the Emirates, in the game at the Emirates recently, but that's not w always what happens. And you, we know we're not always going to stay unbeaten against the top six, but one thing I will give Mikel Arteta credit, you know, top six games, it doesn't matter if it was Liverpool, whatever, it was an instant write-off. Now we're quote-unquote competitive. We're still unbeaten in the top against fellow top six members, regardless of what people have to say about the season. So it's nice to maintain that. But as I said, it's just about moving forward now. The Man United game's gone. It's now time to focus on Fulham and all the other things that we've got really and truly. But on that note, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.